Hello, my wonderful shiny gems. How's it going? I hope you're enjoying today. I am. It's kind of a lazy Thursday, if that makes any sense. Um, but anyways, I am enjoying it. Oh, it is a. It's been a busy couple of days. I'll um. Um, we went to the geneticist yesterday to discuss uh, dad's genes and how they could affect us kids and the rest of his family. Um, turns out he does have a gene mutation. Unfortunately, it does not mean he's a mutant that has superpowers. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> We so tried. I'm eating my lunch. I'm trying to finish before we get into chat. But I am eating my lunch. And, um, anyways. So, yeah. The, it was positive for that type of tumor that Dad has. So, she suggests that we get tested along with his brother and sister. That said, um... Because the tumor causes hormone issues and my hormone issues, we might have to, I might have to get tested much sooner rather than later. They're also concerned with the high blood pressures for him. So yeah, just a lot of, a lot of information that we got and still trying to sort out. So once we sort it out, I'll post it on Discord. Here's Discord if you need the Discords. I'm generally there. Today I wasn't, mostly because I was just kind of busy and wanted to fish and be in my own little world for World of Warcraft. <laughs> um, but mostly I am there. Loving the Moo is our bit boss for 10 health. And we are at 373 of our 500 follower go. All right. <coughs> God, it's hot, but I'm not having the air conditioner. I know it's hot, and it's going to get hotter, but I don't intend to have the air conditioner running. Anyways, other on to other announcements. We are part of the true gaming community as an affiliate. So, as a reminder, it's down in the panels. I don't know if the command will work. Let me try the command. And it doesn't work. I've been, I, I didn't get a chance to really work on it, so it's not surprising that it doesn't work. Um, but the timer should, it, it'll pop up eventually. But anyways, they are a game server service as well as a voice server service. They also have their own merchandise. And they are very supportive to new streamers. And um, I've had nothing more than a blast there. So, yeah. Yo, 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 check it out. Check it out. Sorry, in the house. Fake gaming. <laughs> True gaming. Fake gaming. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that doesn't work. But anyways. Anyways. We are part of that. They are an awesome community. I love them so much. I had so much fun. Even when I took a hiatus for about a year with what was going on about two years ago, they were still there. They were still supportive. They were still there, just like you guys are. <laughs> so um, down in the panels is their link. Um, and if you click that link and use that to pay for anything, uh, it does really help the channel. Clicking the link itself also helps the channel. So just clicking the link works in supporting the channel. Um, what else? I can't think of anything else for announcements. Tomorrow the stream will probably be delayed by about how much I do not know. Probably no more than an hour. But um, I have physical therapy tomorrow, so... Not much I can do about it. We don't know if it's going to stay on Fridays or go to, like, Mondays or something like that. But, um, Fridays are, unfortunately, PT right as of right now. So, the stream might start being delayed on Fridays. But once PT's done, uh, six weeks later, <laughs> um, we'll be, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll be back to our normal time. For the multi-twitch link, because I'm sure Solray's streaming this as well. 
Here it is. You click that, and I think it works where we all have the ability to talk and see it. I don't know if that one will work. It should work. But Mama Kitty will be streaming this, and um, so will Soray. Oh, well, I don't know if Mama Kitty will be streaming. Thank you for that follow! I can't even read it. Hold on. So cannot even read it. Bold of 12. He came from Draconis. Draconis is an awesome streamer, guys. He is. Um, he's been away for a little bit, but that's okay. I can't wait to see him back in action. I hope Draconis is doing good. I haven't checked his Discord lately. I should do that. Don't tell him I haven't. I, I, I try my best to check all the discords at least weekly. It doesn't happen a lot of the time. Um, but anyways, let's get started. I'm going to get into chat um, here in just a sec. I'm trying to think. There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, next week on the 6th. I think it's the six. <sighs> I'm gonna be late. That's okay, Soray. I think she wants to start with us anyway, so being late will probably be okay. <laughs> um, on the sixth of next week, Path of Exile's new uh, league, Blight, is coming out, and we'll be playing that along with World of Warcraft and Ark. Friday is Ark. Tomorrow, Ark. Um, it's listed in the Discord. Um, Here's the Discord if you guys need it again. Um, it is listed in the Discord under a now. Oh my god. So much stuff to talk about today. <laughs> under um, channel news. I am starting to put up a weekly schedule. Uh, for those who wish to know what I'm playing and when. So that way they're like, oh yes, I want to go watch her play this. Oh, I'll wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Which is okay. We, we love you either way. You guys are all awesome shiny gems. As a reminder, there will be no song requests because this is D&D. &D. Um, and then my campaign will be Sunday this week. Uh, I'll be doing roll call tomorrow for everybody to see if they're going to be here or not. And then, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> anyways, um, let's get into chat, see where everybody's at, what's going on, and um, see what we're doing. <sighs> oh, and here's Twitter. If you guys could go ahead and retweet that tweet, that would be awesome as well. You guys would be awesome shiny gems if you did that. We are also on Facebook and YouTube's if you need it. <laughs> And remember to click that true affiliate link down below. Just clicking it, not even buying anything, or just browsing around with that link helps me a lot. You don't even have to buy a thing. It just helps show that there's activity as well. Oh, you finally changed to 374. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> All right, let's head over. Let's uh, head over there. And also, because it's D&D, I will be typing to you guys instead of talking directly at you guys. So just an FYI on that. Hello. Hello. Eyes are back. Welcome back. So it looks like I'm going to have to finish up the uh, map of this new town um, a bit late. It's looking quite nice, too. Cool. I've already yeah, finished up great. the actual map part itself. I just need to uh, put together the rest of these little uh, bits and bobs. I keep trying to choke on a grape, apparently. <laughs> don't choke. Don't, don't do that. But they're so good. Hello. 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 Wow, that was loud. Mm-hmm. What's up? That was a loud. 
That was a little loud. Hold on. I thought I had it set right, and then you went, hello. Okay. All right, there we go. Hopefully that's good. <gasps> Sorry, said he would be late. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I you you got so it was it was so late since you responded that I waited for di lunch. <laughs> okay. So are we starting? What are we doing? Oh, what was that? Are we starting or what are we doing? Oh, we're starting. We're starting. Um, okay. But since it's um, you and it, since it's going to be just midnight in Bethel for a little while, it, it's fine anyway. So. Okay. Um, because I'm starting off with you guys. I That's might I not get to the other stuff. <laughs> Considering what, um, how the, uh, the interaction between you and, uh, between Midnight and Beppo is going, I might not get back to the other ones for a while, so. <laughs> mm. Well, we have to finish off the day. Exactly. Uh. Okay. That's the other thing I forgot. I forgot to dig out my notebook to see what we did last time. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot to do the review. Oh, well. Anyways. Okay. I mean, I I've been doing a lot, so I I I'm I'm sort of just watching what um. I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really did. I forgot your name. <laughs> His name's Jason. Jay. Well, no, his character name. Beppo. 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 Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> you got distracted. <laughs> I left a video I... in, in general. It's about this tale. Alright, so anyways, I'm just gonna... I, I, I watch him. Wondering what he's doing. Who did? Oh, no, you. Hello. Oh, you mean Jonathan? Now listen up, you withered old sister and Um, Jonathan's my brother. You slept with him, didn't you? Uh. He's the whole reason why I got back into uh, DMing. <laughs> he was getting all kinds of stir crazy wanting to play DMD, but nobody in the house wanted to, so. <laughs> Except me. <laughs> I forgot that announcement. Dang it. What announcement? Oh, when I start my stream, I do announcements basically right off the bat. I forgot to tell everyone that we're still looking for one more player for my campaign. Oh, well, you can do you, you can still do that. I mean, you just did it. So. Well, yeah, I did, but that was mostly cuz he asked. <laughs> Not an it, it wasn't an official announcement though. <laughs> you know. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Playing a game. Well, what I'm are late. you doing in our game here? <laughs> uh, I'm in a forest. What about you? I'm hiding, observing you. Shit. 
Yeah, she's basically been observing you because she doesn't want to. Oh, I, I exceptions that you cannot keep. Do <laughs> what? Oh, I'm telling you, I, I just said to Mama Kitty, don't make assumptions that you cannot back up. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Is he just, are you just going to just stand there and do nothing? And I mean, absolutely nothing. Are we starting? Yeah, we've been going for like over five minutes now. That's why I've been asking what you were doing. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know. Hold on. Uh, so can I see anything around me that's interesting? Well, there's that giant tree that you basically landed. Can I see if there's anything? Is there anything interesting about the tree? It is the biggest tree you have ever seen. It is so big it could it could possibly house caverns. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna check the tree. I'm gonna look around for like any points of entry or whatever. Roll perception. Oh, what? what? Yeah, perception. You're gonna want to roll perception. What? He can't see a. I knew it. <laughs> I was about to say, watch me roll a two. <laughs> Only she didn't roll a one. If you rolled a one, you might have. <laughs> I would have said that you fall, so stripped over a root and fell on your. So at least you didn't do that. Yeah, what you see is dirt because you fell on your face. No, no, that didn't, that didn't happen. But anyway. I'm going to climb the tree. You're going to try and climb the tree. Yeah. Well, there's, um, there are a bunch of, like, raised roots, but they're, like, all, like, intertwined in such a way that it's difficult to see anything under beneath them, you know? Mm. So you're gonna try and climb the tree? Yeah. Religion? Really? You can't climb a tree with religion. Would that be an acrobatics then? Yes. Oh no, it would be a strength check. Oh. Acrobatics would basically be if you were falling from the tree. Oh no. Your hand slips and you fall. Shit. But luckily Seeing you him. didn't get very far. Shit. Seeing him fall, I um sorta of think to myself that I was glad I never actually tried to climb the tree. <laughs> You did get a pretty good um, roll in your acrobatics, though. <laughs> Fucking pirouette as I fall. <laughs> pirouette. Yeah, an acrobatic fucking pirouette. Nah, acrobatics would be stuff like tumbling and stuff. So basically, you tumbled just right, so you didn't actually take any damage. Ha. <sighs> But doing so, you actually ended up tumbling directly into the cavern below the tree. Ah, shit. It all worked out. I mean, that's how good your freaking tum your acrobatics check was, okay? Mm -hmm. You mean the one I saw uh, Mara walk into? Yes, that same <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, could you uh, move his token to where that would be? Considering Mara's not even on here. Not you. <laughs> oh, 
I'll put you right here. This would actually work perfectly. And do I, did I see him fall into that? I would hope You would so. have to roll a perception to see if he actually did. But there's a really good chance you did. <laughs> uh, let me get Can you imagine if she did? Yeah, she'd have to roll, like, pretty low to not see it. I was gonna say, because I was watching him intently anyway, so. <laughs> she'd have to roll something like... A, oh, no, I don't know. Perception. Perception, right? Yeah. Like... Uh, I saw one and I got... <laughs> Oh yeah, you definitely saw him tumble into the cave. <laughs> into the cavern. <laughs> um so he he's in the cavern. I um I tell Crystal to wait it where she's hiding. Um and I'll I'll roll stealth here just a moment. Give me a sec. Did I just I seriously did. <laughs> Uh, let's do this so I don't do that again. Um, I'll roll stealth. Hold on. Wow. I'm super stealthy. Mmm, crit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I walk, um, I walk, uh, up to the cavern entrance. <clears throat> Stealthily. Um, can I assume the cavern entrance is, like, right here or something? Wait, what was that? Can I assume the cavern entrance is, like, right here? That where Ma Maru wa Mara walked in? <laughs> yeah. Where the Marowak okay. went. Mara. So I walk up to the cavern entrance, um, kind of peer into the cavern to see if I can see him uh, and if he's alright. Do you want me to roll another percept? Yeah. Camouflaged. I'm camouflaged. You're not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm not camouflaged anywhere. <laughs> Um, anyways, I see if he's alright, if he gets up or anything like that. I don't know his name yet, so I refuse to use your name at the moment. <laughs> oh, shit. I have a cool build, a racial perk. Nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the tunnel as soon as I get up. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I, I have to adjust a few things. <laughs> okay. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. Where is the other? There we go. What are we waiting for? You're, you're waiting on me. I'm adjusting a few things in the cavern. Oh, okay. So we shall wait for the cavern to be finished. And while doing so, I shall finish my lunch. <laughs> lunch and dinner, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Okay, so Beppo, you're heading into the uh, tunnel. Yeah. Hmm. I'll move you over here in a moment. Okay. Okay, I'm moving you over now. It's orange. As you enter... There's four dragons! As you enter the cavern... The fuck is this? As you enter the cavern... <laughs> You see a pair of kobolds guarding the uh, guarding the inner area, in the entrance of a actual cavernous area. Are you following him, Midnight? Yeah, I'm just outside the cavern. I I'm able to definitely see him. The hell is all this? But I don't know if I could see any of these guys. I'm probably right about here, somewhere around here. I don't know if I could see these guys. Uh, have you zoomed Basically, out your map? You see, you see a pair of kobolds holding, sh holding like large shields and pikes. <laughs> Do they notice me? They notice you. You I'm hear one of <laughs> you hear one of the kobolds. You see the kobolds pointing their spears at you and, go, and one says, What you do here? A friend. I'm gonna say that in Draconic. I'm a friend. The two kobolds kind of mutter and call another one of the kobold friends up. Oh, I'm gonna pull back one of my, uh, one of the sleeves. I think, what am I wearing? Like a tunic? Or common clothes, and show them the, like the dragon scales that go along me. I'm a friend to the kobolds. Uh, the little kobold guards tell the new the other kobold to go get their queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell and yeah! The little kobold oh hell yeah! In the meantime, you're basically standing there with the kobolds. <laughs> They're just still watching you. They look pretty fascinated at your scales, though. You know, being kobolds. <laughs> love dragons. Now, wait, do Were they talking in common? Or, uh, I'm speaking draconic. in draconic. They were, they okay. were speaking in draconic. <laughs> the, the first the first part was who you be and uh and, and they, uh, that, uh, that actually was common okay when they said who you be that that was in draconic i mean that was in common so you understood <laughs> that part. Mm -hmm. can i um oh what walk uh I kind of, I, I kind of want to step out of the shadows and kind of walk up from behind him, and maybe uh, walk up to here. Does do I notice this? I would hope so. I'm not being stealthy. By the time I get here, you should notice me. God, my perception's so bad. I'm just waiting for her to okay it. Yeah, I'm good with it. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> and Crystal is right behind me. Yeah, I can't get Crystal behind me. There we go. <laughs> so you brought Crystal with you? Yeah. Well, I... I I, I gestured over her to come to come with before I kind of walked in. Do these two react in any form? They 
they definitely spot you and start muttering to each other. I've seen her as well. Yes. Yeah, at about this time you definitely see her. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna tell them in Draconic, I don't know this one. They're still muttering to each other. So, um, the two of you, by now you see what looks to be an elven woman with two um, kobolds. One, <laughs> one with like these a makeshift pair of wings. I'm saying makeshift because they're clearly not real wings. They're just pieces of st they're just bits of sticks with leather strapped to them or something. Excuse me. <laughs> and this is her, or is it one of the kobolds? Which one? Oh yeah, that that's the that's the elven woman. She's got like le fake wings. No, no, no. The um one of the kobolds, the one with the oh. fire in his hands, is the one that's got the <laughs> fake wing. Oh, and I'm completely hooded and covered. But you see this elven woman and the two kobolds following the side and approaching your direction. <laughs> so the elven woman passes the guards and um, looks at the two of you seeing Hello. midnight seeing midnight though she says I see you finally decided to come in uh, I, I walk up to her and nod, um, gesturing to make sure Crystal follows, <laughs> uh, and ask her, uh, where's Mara? She's deep in the caverns in the temple area. Welcome to my city. Oh shit, this is a city? That, that was my response. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is a city? It's a quite a large city. I, I know, it's not what you would expect for a city, but, well, it is a dragon city. Come. Oh shit, I hit the jackpot. She sends her kobolds away. And they they run back off to where she was. And, uh, <laughs> they run back to wherever it is they were. And she gestures for the two of you to come inside and um, waves off the uh, the guards. So to <laughs> let's the guards say, okay, come on in, <laughs> let them in. Yeah, basically. Okay. No. Oh shit, you guys have two griffins here? They're not griffins! That's out of character, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what this is. Uh, <clears throat> she says, Oh no, no, no. Those are not griffins. Those are my people. There are, there, we are fella dragons. Fella dragons. Hmm. I, do I know what those are? You would not know what those are. <laughs> and neither would Midnight. No, because I'm from somewhere else, so that's... Hmm. Uh, Oh, I, let me be a I, little bit more uh, specific. They're cat dragons. Oh, God. Here we go again. Cat and so am I. <laughs> You're a cat dragon? <laughs> oh, yes, this is just a... Uh, how how can I put this? 
eloquently. This is just a form I take for um, visitors. <laughs> Interesting. You mortals cannot perceive my my uh, physical form. If you wish, I could take on my real form. Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> no, that's okay. And he says, go for it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I, I said that because um, I think Crystal's a little, at, a little taken aback. And tiny bits odd. I don't know. <laughs> She could be terrified or scared a little bit because she's underground type idea. Ah, uh, understandable. Horses don't. She's a Pegasus, a, not a, a Breeze Trotter or Breeze Trotter. But you were close. Thank you, Breeze Trotter. Breeze Passer. <laughs> I, I ask uh, her, um, what is your name? <laughs> oh shit, we didn't even ask. Perfect time. <laughs> well, my name, my common name is Jashara. Uh, G or J? <laughs> J. What's up? No, no, no. <laughs> her name starts with her common name starts with a J. Interesting. Do you know how long Mara's going to be here? It kind of depends on ha on um, Alhara Alhari's mood. Uh, um, the most there... she's ever been down there was a good two weeks. Okay. Um. Is there a place I could stay while I wait for her? There's lots of room. Of course you of course there's places you can stay. But if you feel more comfortable you could stay in my chambers. It's my cavern is very big. And a bit lonely. Very well. Especially considering my, uh, the size of my true self. I turn to the... What what what's your race again? Goliath. He's a Goliath. I turned to this very large person. I probably have never seen a Goliath, to be honest. Um, and say and in common ask, what what are you doing? What are you gonna be doing? I don't know. I just found this place. I fell out of the sky, and now I'm here. Probably just go along with it. Very well. Uh, 
I know six languages. You know six languages? That's impressive. Yeah! Alright, it's- no, it's five. Five. Can't count. I know three. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna... I'll probably just tag along with you. If you need any manpower. I... Uh... I nod to him, saying, Yes, you are most welcome to come. Cool. You wouldn't have had... You hadn't seen uh, a little pouch out there, had did you? Uh... I rum... I, um, say, just one moment. And I rummage through my bags. And, um dig out a component um, pouch and show it. Is this what you're talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, the one with fireflies in it, right? I don't know. I didn't really look at it. Uh, open it up and you'll see. Firefly. I open it up and um, and then close it right away before any fireflies come out. And I'm like, yep, yeah, th there's fireflies in there. <laughs> Would you uh, like yep, a That's pack? mine. Yeah, that'd be mine. Yep. I um I hand it back to him. Nice. And, and kind of also say maybe next time you should keep an eye out of your, for your stuff. Well, I would have seen him at night time. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing about keeping fireflies. There we go. There's this. There's Treshara. That's what she lo actually looks like in this current form. What? There you go. Oh, um, Mama Kitty put it as her profile picture thing. Uh, hold on. I think I have it hidden. Ah. Uh, I mainly hide it, or hide the images, because then I don't have to look at the hippo. <laughs> right. you, you don't have to look at the hippo. All you have to do is go into your, your chat bar, and, and there's the as word, and right next to that is a bar. You click that, and you can scroll down to, what, to your character name. I could be a warhorse skeleton. <laughs> don't be a warhorse skeleton. Why is that an option? Who knows? Because Jonathan Jonathan decided to pick up a warhorse skeleton as a beast of burden as, <laughs> of sorts. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least it doesn't have to worry about feeding it. I um continue the conversation with uh Jasara asking um is there also a place where we can get some food? Oh yes. Um of course. We hunt every night. Excellent. Oh, and, um, I, uh, don't mind the little, um, don't mind the little kitlings. They tend to be very rambunctious. Mm. You I'm might sure want to stay funny. out of the nursery, though. Nursery? Where all the eggs are, are stowed. Ah. Is it really warm in there? It is warm. <laughs> I'll show you um, I'll show you around. Thank you. That would be very helpful. I'm just gonna like 
follow behind at a pale at a pace. Had to, had it on the wrong layer. Oh. The dining hall is in this direction. I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. All right. Why is she, why do I have her running? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she's running. Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? If you want, you can scroll out to ha get a better... Uh, uh, how to put it? Um, a better view. A better view of how big this place is. Oh, I already saw it. Like, then I jump times. off. Don't jump through the wall! <laughs> get out of there! No, oh, I thought this... No, it's a wall. It basically, you're trying to go through dirt. And oh, I was gonna say, you, you sure it's not just like one solid platform that leads to the void in between? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the dining area. As you can <laughs> see, we currently have um... Beppo, did you um, actually look in there? See how big it is? And where? The dining area. Right here. I can see everything, by the way. The whole map? Yeah. yeah. Yep, we can see the whole map. This is the dining area. As you can see, I there are already members of my of the city that are working here at the moment. Cleaning up from breakfast. All right, let's head on. Um, Jay, you gonna bring your character? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Back the way I we came. I, I tapped out for a second. Oh, well, that works. As we pass this uh, person, I, I nod to him. Say the, little, the little kobold <laughs> nods back. Note, the kobolds are roughly about two to three feet tall, so they're small. Soon they will grow into big cats. Kobolds don't get that big. Yeah. They'll evolve. You never know, they might, yeah. Yeah, they might. In this room? This room is the main hall where we gather. Is there anything special or specific that we see? You see, uh, looking up, you see several raised platforms. Okay. In fact, in this room, this is actually the biggest room in that you have seen so far. Rising up, life. you can actually see that this tr that the uh, cavern actually goes up th in throughout the tree. So the city is massive. Do 
You're just on the lower levels. Damn. Okay. And of course, the only way to get up onto the higher levels is by wing. So you see no way of like climbing up there to get to the higher levels. Okay. And this is when I sprout my wings and fly away. <laughs> um, Beppo, you don't have wings. Yet. Mm. And he's back in the dirt. No. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's quite a few cobalts. Like it. To the right is where most of the other dragons sleep. Alright. I'll just uh, stay out of that room. <laughs> Don't want to disturb their sleep. <laughs> Of course, as we pass all the kobolds, each one of them, like, bow slightly to Janchara. You know, show their respect. No. No. Come on, do what I say. Not as I want. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't want to cooperate. No, it did not want to cooperate. <laughs> you know, rule 20 sometimes. All right. To the left is where the nursery is. The eggs and the kitlings are in there. Do mind the kit. And just as she says that, this little kitling pounces on you. On who? <laughs> it just zoomed. Who does it pounce on? Oh, me? It pounces on me. <laughs> um, am I- do I catch it? Can I try to catch oh, it? Um, it sit on your head. What do you do? Not uh like if it pounces if it pounces on top of, uh, on me I try to catch it so it doesn't fall basically. Uh, I guess I could do a, a check for that if you want. Probably would be an athletics check. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Do not throw it. Uh, do not throw it. <laughs> do not throw it. <laughs> Well, that or an acrobatics check. It's whatever um, I think it is. It, I'm pretty sure it would be an athletics check because acrobatics would be if you were like tumbling or doing some sort of... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do not yeet the cat. <laughs> you so do, do manage it? to catch the kitling. <laughs> and the I... kitling, kitling turns to Jashar and speaks in draconic, saying... La Lady Jashara, can I keep it? It's so cute! 
I, I don't know what she says. I'm just uh, giggling it and kind of want to pet. I, I kind of try to pet him. Too. I'll translate it for her. So Jashara kind of giggles a little bit and said, and, and returns and, and says in Draconic, no little one. It's a get. This is one of my guests. You cannot keep her as a pet. <laughs> <sighs> Or more specifically, she goes, Meow! So these do count as dragons, correct? Yes. Sounds like <laughs> it. I'm in my element. Yeah, these are dragons. They just appear. Their appearance is more feline. Though. That's the only difference from they have from other dragons. They actually have more animalistic uh, appearance. I have okay. draconic interactions. <laughs> so whenever I make a charisma check when interacting with dragons, my proficiency bonus is doubled. If it in applies that in to particular the check. Case, in that in particular case, um, when you're communicating with these people, you use your... Uh, when you have... Do something like persuasion or whatever, you would use an advantage roll. Ooh, that's pretty good. So You're you currently awesome. have a kitling in your arms. Yes, and I think it's adorable. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, 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 so, assume. um, Beppo's translating for, uh, yeah. Midnight. Oh yeah. Did you translate that? Yes. Oh, okay. So when 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 she uh when when the Kitling said, as "Can I keep stars, her?" She's yeah, cute. I I, I kind of um laughed and um patted her, and then um as Jar responded, uh, I nodded in a kind of in, in agreement to that as well. <coughs> But um, it was basically my sentiments too for the Kitley. <laughs> um, and uh, obviously in common because I don't speak draconic. Uh, I say, do you want to uh, come along with the um, 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 tour for the rest of the tour? If that's okay with just just uh, j oh my god, just Sarah. The little kitling nods furiously, so to speak. <laughs> which gives, which causes Jeshar to chuckle a little bit and says, "It's all right with me." Awesome. And, um, I, I basically say, I, I, while holding her, I tell Jusara, well, let's continue. So <laughs> Jusara heads up, uh, continues on with the tour. Hmm. Oh, I can't, uh, I can't move the kitty, the kitlin. No. I'll load the report. There we go. <laughs> Jay. What's up? The the picture you posted. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
as you watch, you um, can at, you actually notice that the um, the walls they're not just like stone or dirt, but is actually being held together. They're actually being held together by the roots of the tree. Oh, okay. Oh, Sorry. I'll be right back. I got me a Kitleen. <laughs> Thank you for that follow. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I am error. I am error 13. You're an awesome grab as many have a hundred cobalt as I can and run. Great escape. Right. Why would you grab cobalt and run? To freedom. They seem quite free to me right now. Outside. I think outside is a little more dangerous than you give yourself credit for. But they need to learn how to fly. Do hobos fly? They try hard enough. Is it a C or a G? What? <laughs> Got a bottle of ink. I'm gonna drink the whole thing right now. A bottle of ink, really? Yeah. Good luck with inscriptions after that. Use it. This place is almost too good. Is that? Is what? Um, I, I decided to go up a little bit and then scroll around. There's this green little token here. Looks like an undead. In one of the chambers. Uh, I don't I'm know. I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. What now? No, what? What now? I don't know. We're moving, right? Whoops. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't step on me. No, just kidding. <laughs> You're Got a little, a little big to, sit, to, to be in the same space as, as Jashara. <laughs> Jashara, yeah. 
Well, really, his token should take up almost two spaces, right? What's his size? What's your size considered? Probably medium. Oh, medium still. Yeah, because he's just a me big be a medium. If if they let me be large, I could do a bunch of stupid shit. Hmm. Like one hand, a great sword. In both hand. Yeah, he's still a medium, but he's a big medium. He's like seven foot five. Ah, oh, yeah. I need to increase my size. You enter another room, and she basically said, And this is where this is the trade hall. Yeah, I know it's kind of odd for dragons to actually have trade. Ooh. Or what you would call the market. Interesting. Nice. Kind of empty. But interesting. Oops, hey, there was still a token on the map that didn't belong. Hmm. I'm gonna go mock speed into this wall. <laughs> Can I have Earth Glide? No. Can you imagine if anything flying had Earth Glide? It would be horrible. There's a reason they don't. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. <laughs> You're lagging behind. New. Um, to the left of us is um, where one of the little families. And ahead of us, that's where the kobolds stay. And to the right is my, is my cabin. Which right? Well, if you... Is it the well, one with the bunch which of... Ones. What was that? Nothing. I figured it out. Wow, you don't know your left from your right? <laughs> I'm dyslexic, eh? Yeah, I'll move. Upon entering the cavern, no. you notice an in. I am not even gonna have you roll for this, but you notice an enormous pile of treasure. Holy shit! 
I, I, I look at it wide eyed and then um, trying to not be too obvious about how how surprised I am. I just kind of look back down at the kitleen while I pet her and um, say, is this, uh, is this your room, just Sara? As I talk to her. Yes, this is my cavern. Um. Mm. I hope you don't mind me getting a little bit more comfortable. I shake my head. No, I don't mind. I'm just going to shrug my shoulders. Mm -hmm. You notice her shift her form to that of a small, a small <laughs> dragon. Well, I can't really say she's. Well, actually, yeah, she's about she's about the size of the kitling. Actually, no, she's a little bit bigger than the kitling. <laughs> I thought they were gonna be bigger. Yeah. Well, she's not. Ex she's still young. She is a young queen. I'm surprised they let her do anything then. Yeah, her her elven appearance um is a bit deceiving, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she's about twenty years old, which is which is about the right age for uh, elves to be adults, but not so much for dragons. Elves don't become adults until a hundred. No, actually, they're oh, okay, maybe about a hundred, but still. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Half elves uh, age the same as um, okay humans. But yeah, she, kind of okay. Here, let me let me make this a little bit. There. Now I guess she's a little bit bigger. Or should I make her bigger? No, that's fine. Wow, you're fine. If she's meant to be small and whatnot, you're fine. It's just, um, <laughs> gotta get your, your lore straight on elves and have elves. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. Yeah, I, I, I like, I haven't read any, uh, uh I haven't read my, uh, elven stuff in a while, so I'm a little mixed up at the moment, so. Oh, you're good. I'm surprised, uh, to see her that small. Um, I, I say, you must be pretty young. Because that's all I can think of why she would be that small. Yeah, I'm. I just recently became queen. So. Um. <laughs> Thing is, my parents died before I even hatched. Or at least I think they did. I never knew my parents. Hmm. Mara was actually looking after me. Uh, How did you for a become while. queen? Well. Mara is the guardian, and um, she looks after. She generally takes uh, looks after the royal families. So I suppose they saw me as um, a member of a royal family. Interesting. Now, is she colored that pink purple? Yes, color? she's she is actually that pink purple color. Okay. I um, comment, um, I, I make a comment basically stating um, I do love the 
how she looks like a completely different color and um, compared to her people. It's basically com com com. Oh my god, words today. Complimenting her. She she gives a big toothy cat smile <laughs> at your compliment and says thank you. That's not treasure. That's just weird cat. Um, do kitlings get cold? Huh? Do the kitlings get cold? Well, they're covered in fur. The thing is, uh, but yeah, the kitlings actually look like cats. And, um, the, uh, the older dragons actually, as they get older, their neck actually grows a little bit longer, and they you can actually see their wings and whatnot. It becomes okay. more obvious that they're dragons as they get older. Okay, okay. I was just wondering out of curiosity. Because I, I, I didn't know if she was, um, if the kitling was starting to shiver or something in my arms. However, as you're holding her, you do notice that her fur is actually furry scales, so to speak. It's, she's scaled, but either each scale is covered in fur, if you know what I mean. The fur is actually on the scales, or part of the scale, which makes which is kind of an odd, oddity for uh, for dragons to have furry scales. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> da, 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 da. I ask uh, the queen if she wouldn't mind if I um, rested here for a little bit. No, go ahead. Be my guest. And I um and uh I I move over here and I I don't know how this room looks exactly but I'm gonna assume that's a dark corner over there and I'm gonna hide I'm gonna go over there and okay. head over there and with the kitling still in my arms I uh. I say you want to see something interesting? Let me move the kit like mm -hmm. There we go. The kitling nods. I was in watching you intently. Alright, with a big um, kitty eye. <laughs> I take out uh I take out um uh oh let's see, what do I take out? Hold on. I gotta figure it out. Give me a sec. Okay, I take out um, some string and uh, use uh, Mage hand, um, mage hand, whatever this is, the, the, the invisible mage hand, um, and basically gra have it grab the string and sort of like, uh, uh, oh god, words today. <laughs> Words. Words are just not here today at all. <laughs> um, you know, kind of dance it around. Um, kind of bouncing it off and off and onto the ground and whatnot. 
and um, showing that it's magically floating, basically. The little kitling giggles and starts batting at it. <laughs> and I do that until either Ashara says it's time for the kitling to go back to the nursery or it's time to get some dinner. Or, um, or something happens with Bebop. Beep, whatever. What? <laughs> a bebop? You know, Beep cowboy bebop. Beppo. Beppo. It is a bit of an odd name. Speaking of which, I don't even know his name, so I should say him over there. Unless he over there does something as well. Gonna slump up in the quarter and go to bed. But isn't it still kind of early? I thought it was afternoon. It's about afternoon, actually. I'll take a nap. You taking a short rest then? Uh, sure. That is a god awful pile of treasure. <laughs> looks yeah, I know. It's like some sort of food from a distance. Uh huh. If you zoom out enough, it looks kind of like food. That's what I thought it was at first. Or like so cat litter. In. Or nip. White catnip. There's no yeah. green in there. I said white catnip. So just crack? <laughs> yeah, I thought this was all a floating platform at one point. Like, and then just, like, an endless abyss below it. <laughs> That's what they had. How would you come up with that when you're walking into a tree? Oh. Trees can be big. Yeah, as he takes his short rest, I, um... I use my mage hands, play with uh, the kit lean, and start trying to get used to magic. <laughs> but it helps that I am having fun um, playing with the kit lean as well. Car, True. Yeah. And I'm sure Crystal is enjoying it. The kobolds from earlier come into the room and say, And say, hey. I, I'm, I'm sorry, my brother threw me off. What he do? Moment I said that they say uh, that they were about uh, that they would say something, 
he says, like, the moment I said that um, they come in and say, he decides to say, you're all going to jail. So, yeah. Um, anyways, they come in and say, Your Highness, the huntresses have returned with uh, the meal, with the current meal. Is that in common or in draconic? A draconic. Wow. I kind of just ignore him because I have no idea what they said then. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jashara turns to them and nods, and the two of them run off. Shit, they just ran. I get up, um, I kind of let Crystal just stay, do what she wants, um, but I get up, and, and along with the kitling, because I'm not sure if I'm still holding her or not, with her playing with the string that I was messing around with on the mage hand, um, and go up to Jashara and say, what was that about? It appears it's time for lunch. Lunch? Do you mean dinner? Oh yeah, dinner. <laughs> okay. It appears it's time for dinner. Ah. Alright then. All the other dragons will be moving to the um, dining hall. I, I go up here, back to over here, and um, kind of Dissipate my. That was terrifying. Dissipate my. <laughs> terrifying. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, dispel my mage hand and. Um, uh, I don't know if the kitling will, but um, I pick her up. I pick pick the kitling up and says it's time for dinner, and um, let Crystal know too, if she, if she's. Wanting to come or not? Because oh, I got a feeling it's meat mostly, and she probably is more of a grass Anything eater. Anything but meat. Um, but I think I'll take Crystal with me and mm -hmm. um whatnot and head over there. What's up, bitches? Wait, do I pick up the kitling? Is the kitling coming with me? Yeah, the kitling's coming with you. I just need to move the, uh, <laughs> um, move everybody to the dining Yeah, no, you're fine. No, the dining hall is going to be very, going to look very crowded for a while. Big one. Little one. Oh, yeah. Let's put it down. <laughs> I um, take Crystal um, just to the guards and uh, here. Are they still here? They're still there. They haven't moved yet. Um, I ask them if they're okay with letting Crystal just go out and get some food. With grass because she doesn't eat meat, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They nod and um, so she can go outside. They they nod and let her go out. All right. I'm gonna just put her right there for now, assuming that she's out eating. Hmm. Like I said, it looks a little crowded. So 
assume this off white one here over here is the kitling I was carrying. Yeah, I haven't changed her direction. I um, let the kitling down and um, find a place to eat as well. <laughs> It's almost those these guys look like tables the kitlings are walking around <laughs> when you zoom out uh huh now's the time to steal the gold Here. Yeah, but you're already in the uh, the dining. Yeah, I'm just joking around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Where are you going? Does the kit Kitling stay with me, even though I put her down, put her or him down? Yeah, she sticks her. Okay. She can. I can just have her right there. I was just wondering. <laughs> now is the food cooked or raw? Surprisingly, the food is cooked. Okay. <laughs> now, how did that happen? It's not the how that happened, it's more the why. Yeah. yeah. Because, because dragons normally eat their, their meat raw. Yeah. My I evil. asked Chisara over our meal, um, did Mara tell you that I would might be coming in here? Is that why you weren't surprised? Mara said that you'd be waiting outside for her, and I kind of figured, considering that um, she's going to be busy for a while, that you might end up coming in to look for her. I know, I didn't take another bite. <laughs> Though, I must admit, you came in earlier than I anticipated. I kind of look at um, Jasara and then look at him. And then back at Jasara and tilt my head towards the Goliath and said, that's because I was kind of watching him. <laughs> Jashara chuckles and says, understandable. I fell from the sky. Did you actually say that out loud? Yeah. This, of course, does not surprise her. She's like, it happens. What the fuck do you mean it happens? <laughs> You're not the first to fall from the sky. Especially so close to one of the great trees. Uh, I'm guessing other people try to climb it. <laughs> She's referring to the fact that um, people tend to come from other worlds and the majority of the time the rifts open around the great tree. Ah. 
Neat. I kind of laugh and actually state <laughs> he kind of lucked out. I landed in the water. About a half mile out to sea, in fact. <laughs> Still could have been worse. You could have landed in a volcano. This is true. <laughs> Pretty metal. Or, even worse, you could have landed in the bog of endless nightmares. <laughs> that also sounds pretty metal. Did you say bog, right? I did say bog, as in oh, bog. swamp. Okay. Yeah. The swamp of endless nightmares. Pretty much. Nice. Yep. Righteous. There's actually a river that flows through the bog that is, uh, how, how did you put it? A bit frightful. Spooky river. I hear that people who go into it end up turning into Interesting creatures. Ooh. The transformed from kobolds. I'm joking. Um, I kind of hurriedly finish um, my meal um, after I've asked uh, after after just a little bit. Um, and a little bit here, uh, kind of after the conversation, I kind of hurry up and finish the meal and, um, get up and say, I better go check on Crystal. All right. And I pet the kitlin and say, don't worry, you'll be fine here. Kind of hoping she doesn't follow me or he doesn't follow me. I don't know if it's a he or she. Gotta go back down here. <laughs> I don't notice her following me. I'm sure I don't notice her following me. <sighs> um, I, I talked to the uh, guards real quick. Um, I'm going to head, uh, I'm gonna go get Crystal real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Did she just pounce on me? <laughs> no, she's hiding in your cloak. <laughs> okay. Truthfully, this uh, would be her first time outside the uh, outside the tree. He stole a cat. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, um, we go out <coughs> We go outside uh, finding Crystal grazing on the grass out over here. Yeah, then I go out here. Mm, probably with the cat still, the kitlin in my cloak still. <laughs> and I go up to Crystal and, whoops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> you hide under uh, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, right, no, I do not mean to do that. <laughs> Um, I go up to Crystal and um, see that she's still grazing for a little bit, so I kind of look around the area. Um, where's my perception check? Where's my perception check? I do not have my character sheet up. Bad move. Not 
performance perception. I um I I can't just look around, see what I see. Maybe I see the Ketlin in my cloak now. <laughs> I maybe I notice her. Oh, but, looking uh, around, you do notice that the a few of the trees around that a few of the trees around you are in different locations. Okay. <laughs> what was that? I have no don't, idea. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and yes, you do find the kitling in your cloak. Uh, I I pick the kitling up and look at her. You know you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> but I like you. Is she saying that in draconic or common? Common. She does know common. <laughs> I I'm totally shocked that she spoke and um um uh, I'm like uh. Y you talk? Besides in Draconic, you talk? <laughs> and, and she's just totally surprised. And I'm, and I'm like, well, I like you too. And um, actually formally introduce the kit lane to Crystal. And this is Crystal. And I assume Crystal sort of looks up and sees the kit lane. <laughs> Kitling pats um, Crystal on the nose. And um, I just kind of hold her properly, hold the Kitling properly. Do you have a name? Hold on. <laughs> This kind of stuff happens to me a lot, so. I make a character. I accidentally make a character. And not name it? No, no, I mean I accidentally make a character. Oh, instead of putting the... Yeah, that happens a lot to me. It, it's annoying, to be honest. She says, she opens up her mouth and she purrs a little bit with a smile and says, Chaos and Gix. You know I'm going to ask you how to spell that, right? Yeah, I got it right here. There you go. I, got, I, I actually sent the name, I uh, put the name in. Um. Kaysen Gix, is that right? Kaysen? Kaysen Gix. Oh, Kaysen Gix. Okay. Kiosen. I actually have the have it right there in chat for you. Yeah, I know. I copied it. I just need to make sure I pronounced it right. Kaysen uh, when she says it, I, 
um, respond, what a wonderful name. She's like, yeah, it means blade, blade claw. Blade claw, huh? That's a very interesting name indeed. I'm Midnight. Not too surprising. You look like night. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Jay. What? Are you being silly again? What? Check chat. No. Oh. <laughs> As Crystal finishes up, um, uh, I, I tell uh, <laughs> Kaysen, Kaysen, uh, K Kaysen, Kaysen, um, that it's time we get back, and um, I have also have Crystal follow me. Okay. We head back into the cavern. There we go. Ah. Oh. I I walk up and nod to the. They're not goblins. They're cobalts. Cobalts, and then continue walk. Walking out, walking in. We're actually gonna head kinda straight to the room. Straight to the other one room. Straight to the room. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember Her what quarters. it's called. Her quarters, Her cabin. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'll move cavern. you all there. Yeah. We head straight to her cavern. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Look, I'm not sure what it's called. Meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm gonna move everybody around a little bit. <laughs> oh no. Well, I tell Crystal to sort of wait there, and um, uh, uh, ask uh, Casey, K, 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 um shouldn't she get back to the uh, nursery? Yeah, I should. <laughs> we she snuggles up to you. Like. She, huh? She, she's what? She snuggles up to you really uh, for a moment. And you were saying? Um, I, I, I said, I could play with you tomorrow if you'd like. Unless, uh, Jasara agrees that you can sleep. I'll be right this back. This is her room.
Oh my god, it's so hot in my room. It is how hot in here. It is 90 degrees in my room. Ugh. Should not put things in my mouth. Yeah, that's ten, that tends to be like a general rule of thumb. Don't just stuff stuff into your mouth. It, it it was the sucker thingy, okay, you know how things stick and whatnot, mm -hmm. the other things, and it wasn't sticking and I licked it and I was like, ah, that was a horrible idea. <laughs> it was really dusty. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, what was I saying to her? Something about um, licking? No, to case on. <laughs> Something about licking? Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Um, we could ask Ashara if you, if you could sleep here, but that's up to her. That's what I was in the middle of saying. Jashara comes into the room and says, what's up to me? <laughs> um, I, I turn around, um, face her, and say, uh, Kason here wants to stay here tonight. To this, um, Jashara gives a slight smile and says, well, that's all right with me. I turn back and t say, well, you heard her. You can stay here if you'd like. Uh, I go back. Um, I do kind of walk back towards uh, Crystal, though. Mm -hmm. Really quickly. Um, let's see. What time is it? I know it's like probably just after dinner or something, right? Yeah, it's like just after dinner. Okay, does that mean the the the, the oh, trade center is still open? Um, Trade Center is probably, yeah, uh, the Trade Center is probably still open. I just need to move st move people around. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, I I walk over to uh Jasara and say. I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to go to your trade market for a few minutes. A few minutes being probably an hour. <laughs> yeah, probably. Ah, uh, the joys of moving tokens around and then having to move them back. Yep. <laughs> Don't I know it. Yep, rearranging tokens. It's fun work. And hoping you don't hit the player's tokens while you're at it. 
นี่Now, are there like booths, or, or j there's just people there, just standing in the middle, with their product around them, or, or what? What's so funny? Uh, nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it. I just imagined a bunch of cats. Like sitting on the ground with a pile of stuff. Yeah, that's probably what it would be. <laughs> they're probably sitting, they're either sitting on their pile of goods or next to it. Welcome, Kajit has many wares for the scurning eye. What are these guys again? The gobalts? Cobalts? Cobalts. Cobalt. Little, okay. little lizards. Little lizards. Basically yes. what they are. They are baby lizards. Uh, I th uh, so everybody's cleared out of the, the main hall. Mm -hmm. And what are you yeah. gonna do? I've just been wandering around. Right. Um, do I also see any um, 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 gotta find out what it's called give me a sec I don't have my character sheet up again <gasps> yeah I, I know the problem <laughs> Do I see any um, thieves can'ts that I can, that are like on the walls or something that I can obviously notice or, um, uh, hold on, I lost it again, or um, some sort of like shady deal area thing just by looking around. I can roll a perception if you'd like. Yes. Yes. Go ahead and roll perception. I can't even see what I did. Crap. <laughs> and you rolled Crap on a cracker. Like That's nice. Do I see any of those things? <laughs> <laughs> you do. It's like a small etching in um, the stone. Uh, where? I'm gonna move a little. Oh, I know. I know. Just I'm gonna put this little cobalt right here. There. There's where your thieves can. Okay. That's where it is on that wall right there. Yeah, and that cobalt is there. So. Okay. So I can uh, walk up to the wall um, and read it. What it, what does it say? Got milk. I got milk. Bapho. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. Got milk. Yeah, you never know. Oh, I didn't mean to click those. Sorry. Thieves That's can't. Okay. More like thieves can. Oh, 
What's it say? Make if you want, you could always whisper it to me too. <laughs> and what are you doing? Giant boy. What's up? Say to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What'd you say to me? Apparently nothing, because you're not near me. There you are. Uh... <laughs> I wish this program had text-to-speech, that'd be great. Uh -huh. Are you gonna try and steal that gold? Uh, I'm not a thief. Sorcerer. A sorcerer can be a thief. A wizard can be a pirate and a thief and steal things. Just ask Solray. But he has a... Um, they have their own code. Just ask Claude. Claude's a pirate. He's also a, a wizard, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Like I said, you could be a thief and a, and, and a sorcerer. It's just you're not very good at it, that's all. So what's it say? a really detailed business loan. Right. It's like advertisement for for debt forgiveness or whatever. Uh. No, I imagine it's some sort of saying that I have to respond to it properly with the cobalt sitting next to me. Or standing next to me. That's my assumption. Honestly, I got nothing. You got nothing. I got. You got, got nothing. I got. You're the one that said it was there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the problem. I had an idea, and then I just gone. Alright, how about this? Um, I'll assume the Cobol is the shady character person that I was looking for. That I'm standing next to. And, um... I, uh... I, uh... I walk up to him. And... Where is it? Where is it? Did I just lose my character sheet again? <laughs> and, um... Right in uh, Thieves' Cant, um, uh, da, 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 what was I looking for? There was something. Mm -hmm. um, it, if there was um, poisons around. Poisons. Mostly just to see if he can read Thieves' Cant. <laughs> So I write, I write it down and hand it to him. He, of course, reads the thieves' cant, or looks at the paper. Looks like he's reading it, at the very least. And then he writes something else on his, his own little scribble, so to speak, on the paper, and hands it back to you. I read it. What does it say? This is cold bald. In Thieves Cant, it says the only poisons in the area are uh, what was it? Among the trees. So to speak. 
they basically <laughs> what he's what it says is that they come from the trees. You can't be too specific. It, it's a little. It, even for thieves, can't it's a little vague because you don't know what a Lasari is. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean that he didn't put the word Lasari there. True. He basically I says just... it's among the trees, and then kind of explains a little bit that the th the trees are Lasari. Okay. And the word Lasari is kind of. Well, you're not entirely sure what the, what that means. Right. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I crumple the paper up. And uh, can I use, like, present digitation on it and turn it into fl a flame? Yes. Uh, can I just... Yeah, she can do that. It just kind of burns and... I, um, I, I stump it on the ground uh, to make sure the fire does go out as well. And um, nod to the guy, uh, to the cobalt, and um, spend, uh, spend some time uh, just kind of talking to him about uh, what, what, what world events are going on type idea as well as um oh i just figured out a better way of, of phrasing what he said what he's what he said in the paper was they're among the forest spirits which is the lasari because the, to them that's actually what they are they're the forest spirits <laughs> Okay. But either way, I, uh, now that I know you can read Deep Scan, I just assume. I make the assumption and ask, uh, and basically ask him what what's going on with the world and um, is it fairly peaceful or chaotic or, uh, and um, whether or not it's, uh, uh, if there's anything I should look out for specifically, that kind of thing. The kobold smiles and says, The world has been peaceful for the most part, but there have been a bit of a few stirrings in the shadows. Beware the shadows. Beware. Beware the shadows. Don't blink. It's like okay. it's basically he says, Beware the shadows. The shadow born have grown restless. Okay. I I nod and um thank him for his time. Um with, with the amount of time I spent with him, um can I count him as a new criminal contact? Yes, you can count him as a new criminal contact. <laughs> okay. Of the entire city, he is basically the only... Or the closest thing to a rogue I have in this city. Oops, that's caps lock. Um, I ask him, what is the name of the city? <laughs> Did I just trip you up? Sorry. <clears throat> Swallowed wrong. I was like, did I seriously just trip you up? <laughs> um, I, I asked uh, what the name of the city was. He says, the city itself has no name, but this is the tree of life. So... And there are no other cities within the tree. 
Okay. And you are? I am Ixin. E-X-I-N. Did I spell that right? Uh, I X E N. So it's the the vowels are reversed. Ixen. Okay. I nod to Ixen and um and basically casually walk away from him. Hmm. <laughs> And I walk up to this guy. What do you sell? What are you selling? You notice that he has a bunch of um, shoot. Now I gotta think. <laughs> <laughs> Prosthetic arms. I don't know what you're doing. You're just standing there in the middle of the walkway. I said they carry prosthetic arms. Well, this cobalt appears to be in the middle of crafting a piece of leather armor. And, of course, he's surrounded by his wares. Okay. Are there any of them selling food? <laughs> this one? Yes. This one sells food? I kind of walk away from him and uh, let him go about his craftingness, and walk over here and look to see what he's selling. He's got he's got um weapons and. Weapons and tools. Tools, huh? Hmm. What does this one have? It has food, right? Yes, it has food. What type of food do they have? Mostly food. meats, but there are um, some herbs as well. I'm gonna get. Uh, do they have jerky? Yeah. Yeah, there's jerky. Uh, how much for jerky? I'd say it'd be about roughly about one copper a piece, I believe. I think that sounds about right. Could okay. be off. Uh, so how many gold is a silver? Or how many silver is a gold? Mm. Can't do numbers right now. Can't do numbers right now. Uh. One gold's ten silver, one silver's ten copper. Yeah, that's about right. I go up here and check to see what he's selling. Uh, so I'll get ten pieces of jerky. And um, with that, he gives you back nine silver pieces. So basically, remove one one gold from your pack, and you put in nine silver pieces. Yep, I got it. And I 
Is there anything I put that under, or is there any way I get? It's just put in your money section. No, I meant the jerky. Oh. oh. Is there an actual item called that? Probably. Here, let me let me add it in. Technically, it'd be um, rations, but I'm gonna add it in as an actual jerk. Awesome. I was gonna say, ration tends to be for the entire meal day. A little bit of jerky is maybe a few hours. <laughs> There you go. Got jerky in there. Awesome. Oops, I got it wrong. One piece. One ten pound block of jerky. <laughs> one ten pound block of jerky, yes. Enjoy. <laughs> That's gonna be hard as hell to... Anyways. Yeah, that, that looks more... That seems more right. Are there any other interesting vendors? Sorry. Okay, so midnight. You're uh, you're wondering what this guy's do oh, what this guy's um selling. Yep. This guy's got a bunch of scrolls. Squirrels? Scrolls, as in parchment. What kind of scrolls? Um, let's see. It varies. He's got some spell scrolls. Um, he's got some spell scrolls. He's got a couple of map scrolls. Um... I asked him how much uh, for a map scroll. He um, looks up at you from his pile of scrolls, looks through his maps, and says, Two silver. Okay. Now I have a map. Now you actually see the map, uh, this in particular map. The whole, you actually know what the whole thing is. The Tree of Life map? Oh no, um, the, the whole... World. Uh, oh, the world, uh, not world map. The continental map. Unless you already had that. No. He, he shows you his maps, it's... Like, um, two silver for a map, and he's got a few. Okay, so I got the continental map, the one I'm on. Okay. I put it in my bag and thank him. And then head over to this guy. I'm gonna head to this guy and see what's what uh spells he has. He has all sorts of spells. Ooh. Okay, the one that you're at actually has some This one's got gemstones. And I'm not talking just any gemstones. I mean, he's got a large variety of gemstones. And several of them are glowing. Does my amethyst necklace uh, react to any of them? Oh, wait. Your amethyst necklace reacts to magic, right? Yeah, it's a, basically my arcane focus, so yeah. Definitely the, on the glowing ones. Okay. In fact... Your amethyst necklace 
seems to be responding to not well it's not it not only is your amethyst responding to the glowing gems but the gems are responding to your amethyst um does the it's almost shop- like it's almost like they're talking huh. <laughs> let's put it that way does the shopkeep uh have any response to this he's basically watching the 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 conversation that the gems are having, and it's like, ooh, you got special gems. Uh, I ask him, so what's with the glowing gems? Spell stones. Huh. I pick up uh, what maybe looks like an emerald gemstone, and um I just pick it up and look at it. Does anything occur? You die. I doubt that. The rock vibrates immediately. You don't have any injuries, right? Like no like minor cuts or anything? No. Yeah, nothing nothing happens as to your knowledge. As to my knowledge, okay. Uh, does that amethyst crystal really react to it? When it I is de- it, it is glowing. Other? It is definitely glowing. And uh, the closer it gets it actually glows brighter. Okay. Um, I ask him how much the emerald uh, gem is. He looks at the stone, looks at you, looks at your amethyst, and then looks back at the stone again. And then he says something that really surprises you. He says, You keep. Yeah, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm totally shocked. Um, and, and I, uh, I confirmed that he said that by asking, Are you sure? Yes, yes. You keep, you keep. Okay. Jim uh, like you. Um thank you. Thank you very much. And I continue over to this person over Now is the the these cats here also have um store stuff or not? Yes, but their wares are a bit more. Their wares are a little more. are a little different. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I. They basically bring in stuff like uh, more exotic goods, stuff that you wouldn't normally see in the forest. (laughs) I wouldn't normally see a glowing uh, emerald stone. I, as I walk to no, I'm, this guy, uh, what I'm meaning is the things that aren't in the forest, you'd see uh, the, they would have. Like, um, for instance, they're like exotic foods for starters with this one. He's got like uh, that one there. He's got like exotic uh, meat and uh, hides and stuff. Okay. Um, I I kind of check the stone as I'm walking towards the uh, the this guy here, and uh, look to see if there's a way to attach it to my necklace. Uh, 
Um, is there? Yep. You don't actually see a way of applying it to your necklace, but the cobalt um, notices that you're trying to figure out how to put it on your necklace, and he says, I got special root to, for that. This guy? Or this one? Okay, that one. Yeah, he's he's got a bunch of herbs and uh, plants and stuff. I I come back I come up to him and say, really, it'd be great if I could get it to attach to the necklace. Note the gem or emerald that you have looks completely intact, as if it hadn't even been struck by a pick. Okay. So he hands you the, uh, he shows you the special root. He, he takes your gem. Uh, he, oh my God, how, how do I do this? He takes the special root and applies it to your, uh, to your emerald. And the root wraps around it and holds it in place. Okay. Um, and then does he put it on the necklace as well? Yeah. Okay. I take the necklace back, see that the amethyst and the emerald are can on the necklace, and, um, quite surprised how well it worked, um, and put it back on and ask him, how much for the root that you just used? He says, root native to this place, so three silver. Very well, here you go. Okay. I thank him and um, head over to this guy. I don't know what he's doing besides still looking at the scrolls. Yeah, I've just been waiting to find out what scrolls, you know. What specific scrolls? Yeah. You could always ask what you're looking for to see if it's there. Yeah, are you looking for any specific spell? I'm not looking for anything in particular, just looking. Actually, what's the one fire one that's does AoE? Fireball? That's what it is. Definitely. Yeah, that's um that that definitely would be it. Well, that would be one. Uh what? Let's see. Fireball. Yeah, yeah, there's that's... there's definitely a it's a third it's a third level invocation. It's the one that does like a ball of damage, I think. Yeah, yeah it, it's basically explo uh, explosive damage, so to speak. E it's um eight d six fire damage on a failed save. Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. 
doesn't sound right. No, no it's fireball, not firebolt. Oh, ball. Okay, yeah. Can he even do a level 8 fireball? It's a level 3 spell. <sighs> it's a literally a third level spell. I don't think he has third level spells. But it's a scroll. Can't I just... Oh, wait. Do scrolls work in this? I might have a different idea. Scrolls are the things you, like, anybody can use as long as you can use magic, right? You kind of would have to have the spell level for it, though. It's a one-time ah. use magic guy. Okay, so yeah, you can use it, but it would destroy the scroll in the process. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. How much would be one? Oh wow, the um the material <laughs> you needed for this is At kind of guano. gross. No, it's a tiny ball of bat guano and sulfur. So basically it's a mixture of the two. Yep, and that's and that stuff that mixture I think is actually flammable. Like because of nitrite and that That guano. doesn't surprise me. It's still kind of gross. That's a growth in general. Did I say whether he actually has it or not? No, you did not. No, you do not see fireball. In fact, you actually don't see any fire magic in this, uh, <laughs> any fire spell scroll. What does he have, then? Does he have the wish spell? Uh, no. <laughs> there is... What was that? What? He better not have the wish spell if he doesn't have the fireball spell. Doesn't have the wish spell. Damn it. Did you really expect him to have it? No. Okay, then. Obviously. But he was kind of hoping. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping by some sort of, like, grace uh, there'd be one there. It's, it's gonna happen one of these days, I tell ya. Um, I guess I'll go over to this one, this dude, and they have a rock. I'm sorry, what was that? This guy have a rock. Yeah, he's got rocks. No, he doesn't. He's, he's got, gems. He has gems. Um, Which, by the way, are minerals, not rocks. <laughs> well, actually, rocks are minerals. <laughs> rocks are made of minerals. Made from minerals. They're not actual minerals. They're all made from minerals. But no, these no, ones no, are no. more okay, so precious you're... minerals. Mm. I'm sure so they're... yeah, there are gems... You know, the usual gems, and then there are these glowing gems. Ooh. Let me see one of the, the glowing ones. What kind of glowing one you want? Got a blue? There's a blue one. There's actually two shades of blue. There is a deeper... No, no, my bad. Yeah, yeah, two shades of blue. There is a lighter blue, and then there is a deeper blue. The deeper one. 
And you want to have a look at it? Okay. So he lets you have a look at the deeper blue one. Okay, so midnight, you're over at that other call ball. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know what he's selling though. Potions. He's got potions. Ooh, potions, potions, potions. Yeah, I was I was going around the different kobolds because I lost track of uh, of <laughs> of what each one of them had, and I was going around. I was like, okay, this one's got that. This one's got that. That one's got herbs. I'm like, oh, perfect potions. I haven't said potions. So this one's got potions. Mm. So, Beppo, what are you doing with the stone? Uh, I'm going to look at it. Is there anything interesting about it? Anything that I notice, I guess? Well, from what you can tell, it almost looks like there are bubbles in the crystal. Oh, shit. And the bubbles are shifting. Looks like a little water globe. Basically. So basically, as you move it around, the bubbles swirl and try and rise to the top. You know, just like bubbles. Yeah. Um. What does this one do? I'll ask him. If they know. Is that water stone? It's... How, how do I put this? Um, it's for water style type magics, like um, like Ray of Frost, um, or any other water type spells, even cold ones. Ooh. Um. How much is it? Ten gold. I'll, uh. I'll toss a little lizard. The ten gold. Um, I'm I'm wondering if they have a, the potion of poison. And or a potion of where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I just lost it. Well, it was something else. Oh, invisibility. Do you have either of those potions available? Yes. How much? Okay, so you said healing potion and potion of invisibility? I said potion of poison. Oh, poison. Potion of invisibility. 
Yes. And how much? Two thousand gold. One gold for invisibility and five silver for poison. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Hold on. Where's my character sheet? Oh, it's behind all that. Uh, get back over here. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, so you said one gold for the invisibility potion? Yes. Right? Okay, so I take two of those, if I can, uh, and then um, five silver for the other one that I wanted? Yes. Okay, so, and I'll take two of those as well. No, I'll take four of those. So that's another two gold, which is six. Okay. I think the cobalt and um, move back to the leather worker and checking to sort of see if he's done working on whatever he was making. Yeah, he's 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 actually grinning currently over his work and or over his his uh, newly finished piece. I compliment his uh, workmanship on it and say that is a very well made leather armor piece that you create made. Um, the cobalt says, "Thank you." It best work yet. <laughs> All right, uh, let me check. There was something I wanted to look at. Um, I I was wondering if he had anything that was better than what I have for my armor. Um. <laughs> But you have a uh, regular leather armor. Yeah. He has a plus one. He has a plus one to leather armor? A uh, plus one leather armor, yeah. Uh, how much? How much is the plus one leather armor? Thank you. Oh. I just looked at leather armor. Apparently, plain leather armor is ten gold in five in five e. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's why I don't normally go by those, and just go by what I think it should be. 
I'd take a look at it just for suggestions, but beyond that... Um, studded armor isn't magical, but it basically does the same thing. Gives you 12 armor. I don't think I'll have to get armor for a while. What's your ACS? It says the studded armor has, um, uh, adds an AC of 12 to your debt, uh, as well as your debt, for your debt small. Yeah, I think so. Let me see. And leather is eleven, so it's only like one one more. Well, leather is, but a leather armor plus one is basically twelve AC. True point. Got seventeen. Be good. Yeah. No, the uh, plus one leather armor is actually the one that you just finished. Ah. Well, you could say it's whatever and then minus a certain amount just because I commented on how well done it was. This is true. This is true. Basically, so he, was, he felt so good that he gave that he gave it to you for uh, uh, less. Okay, let's see. He says. Let's see. Um, He says, it best piece I made. So, me thinking it go for 20 gold. But you so nice. I give it for you, to you for six. I, uh, I try, yeah. It's a little expensive, but okay. Yes, I like it so much that I'll take it for six. Um, what's his name? Who? Uh, this guy's name. Oh, you never asked him. No, I meant for the naming of the leather armor. I I didn't personally ask him yet either, so. But the leather armor naming. Yes, 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 I know you're wondering. Oh, it's the name for his little shop. Yeah. Just in general. The name of the shop is in Draconic. Oh. <laughs> um, I ask him then, um, may I ask your name? So that way if somebody asks, I can tell them who made it.
Fine, Jeebus. Say that again. <laughs> Sorry. I was having issues. I couldn't put it in there. So many people posting on Discord. Six star how? Please tell me you posted the spelling for that. Thank you. Too many people posting on freaking Discord. I can't. It wouldn't let me hit enter. I thank him again and um, head out thinking that it's probably about time to get off to bed and sleep and whatnot. What do I do? Do I, I ever find any sleeping arrangements? You were told that you could sleep in the same cavern as the, uh, as the queen. Epic. I'm gonna do the same. Um, I, I come up to Crystal and the Kitlin. Are they sleeping? Already? Or dozing off? Well, um, Crystal's already asleep. And, uh, the Kitling is waiting for you. <laughs> ah. Oh, and, um, in your little area over there, there is a pile of fur now. Er, furs. Furs? Furs, as in like pelts. Pelts? Pelts. Okay. Um, can I pick them up and just kind of put them in my inventory? You could. I think you're supposed to sleep on them. Are they in a bed formation? I kind of, yeah. Person. They're 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 set up kind of like a bed. Oh, okay, well then I I kind of get on them and um, lay down on them and um, uh, uh, kind of lay down facing towards um, Kason and ask if. She, she did that for me. Uh, I think that's what I needed to do. She smiles and nods. Uh, and um, I, I, I said okay and then uh, tell him that we should get to sleep and fall asleep. I don't know what he's doing now. I'm gonna slump up against the wall. You went really robotic and yummy. And kinda crackly. <sighs> Hopefully that's fine. Everybody good now? Discord being a problem. <laughs> I don't hear Beppo anymore. Hello? Hello. You you're back. Uh, back. Woohoo! You're back. Yay! What happened? Uh, my computer decided to take a shit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's bad. Well, 
It's more like I initiated an install. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, what I'm gonna... Uh, like, lean up on the... Or, you know, just lean up on the side of one of these walls and just fall asleep there. Insects. I hate insects. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, as for uh, Jashara, she um, makes quite a bit of noise as she buries herself in her hoard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See? She disappeared. Okay. She's got a big hoard to sleep in. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. <sighs> okay, so you gonna switch over to Sorry and them, or what's going on? It's five o'clock ish, almost five o'clock. Or are we gonna call it a night? Or do you want us to continue? Got it. Yeah, let's let's jump over to Sorry and them since we just finished up Euros ones and they haven't gotten anything done yet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they got. They okay. already got the la in the last session. They got something done, but that, that's okay. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to open up the map of the city that I was working <laughs> on, or the town that I was working on. It's like incomplete, but it should suffice for the time being. Right. I am going to mute myself so I don't interrupt you guys. But I'll still be 